Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss in detail about the int data type available in C language. Let's get started. So similar to the char data type that we discussed, this int int is another data type available in C language which is most widely useful for storing numbers or integer values. So the total size of numbers that you can store in an int based variable is 2 bytes that is 16 bits of data can be stored at a time in a variable declared and defined in int data type. So in the signed int variable you can store a maximum of 32767 as the maximum number and the minimum number that can be stored is minus 32768 and in the unsigned version of the int variable you can store a minimum number of 0 and the maximum number of 65535 and the declaration looks like this you can clearly see for signed version of variables you can declare like this you can declare like this int of space variable name and for unsigned version you can do like this you just want to add the unsigned type qualifier before the int data type name that's it and assume that these are the 16 bits of data that is available in a particular uh, variable declared and defined in int data type it goes like 0th bit that is the LSB available in the rightmost bit number and 15th bit that is available in the leftmost bit that is the MSP of the data that is most significant bit. So it starts from 0th bit number and goes till 15th bit number having a total of 16 bit number in binary and it is also called as 2 bytes of data and minimum and maximum value as we discussed before. So similar to the char data type that we discussed, the 15th bit number is useful for telling us whether the number is a positive number or a negative number. So 0 means the data stored is positive that is if you have a value 0 in the bit number 15 of this variable then the number stored in the variable is a positive number and 1 in the same position that is in the same sign bit position represents that the number stored is a negative number. So 0 means positive number, 1 means negative number in the sign bit that is the 15th bit. So minimum value that can be stored will be always in the negative section. So all zeros except the sign bit to be 1 and the maximum number that can be stored is all 1s except the sign bit that is 0 indicating that the number is positive. So this is the maximum number that can be stored. So this is the minimum number that can be stored in this 2 bytes of int variable of signed type and this is the maximum number that can be stored in the signed int based variables. Right. So let us check whether what is this these two numbers. So let me just open the calculator and I am going to the programmer calculator right over here and then click on the binary table right over here. So the below section shows 16 bits of data. Let me just represent this 1000000000000. So this is the minimum number. You can clearly see 1000000000000000. That is 16 bits with only sign bit 1. So which is the number 32,768, 32,768 that is a negative number. So this is how this negative number has arrived which is the minimum number that can be stored in the signed int based variables. And based on the maximum number let us check what is this maximum number 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So 0, 
So the number is positive 32,767 since the sign bit here is positive indicated by 0 in the sign bit. So this is how these two number has been arrived that is the minimum number stored and maximum number that can be stored in the signed int based variables. So if you opt for a signed int based data type for declaring your variable the minimum and maximum number that can be stored in the signed int based variable is minus 32768 and the maximum number is positive 30767. And let us take the unsigned part for now. So regarding the unsigned part as a whole all the 16 bits starting from bit number 0 and bit number 15 in the memory is useful for storing the data. That is 16 bits of data can be directly stored because no negative numbers involved in this unsigned version of the int variables. So as I mentioned unsigned means no negative numbers involved only the number starts from minimum value 0 and it goes on till the maximum value of the data type. So as a whole the 16 bits are useful for representing the magnitude value of the variable. So the minimum number that can be stored is all zeros that is from bit number 0 to bit number 15 we are having all the bits to be 0 and the maximum number is all ones in binary that is from bit number 0 to bit number 15 we will be having all bits to be 1. So let us check what is these two numbers. The first number is 0 as we know all zeros is 0 in decimal but all ones in 16 bit data type means let us check that all ones is nothing but 65535 that is 65535 is the maximum value that can be stored in the unsigned int data type based variables and the minimum number that can be stored right over here is 0. So this is how these two values has been arrived for the unsigned version of the int data type based variables and I hope you also understood how these two values for the signed version of the int data type based variables arrived. So this is the program that we wrote in previous video for demonstrating the char variable. So in the same way I am just going to demonstrate the int variable also. So this is the method for declaring and defining variables in int data type. You just want to give the data type name right over here in place of char to be int. And in case of unsigned int you just want to add the type qualifier unsigned before the int variable. So if you add this type qualifier unsigned before any of the variables such as char, int or float. So that type qualifier will be assigned for that variable. So for now I am just going to test the signed version of int. You can also provide the type qualifier signed but it is not necessary because if you simply give it to be int it will be taking it as a signed data type. So it is an unnecessary thing so we are neglecting that. And if in case of unsigned you just want to mention it that is the case. So I have declared a variable called one of int data type and I am going to store the value let us take it to be 32,000 to this int data type and right over here I am not going to change anything I am just going to print variable one value is percentage d. Percentage d as I mentioned this is the qualifier useful for printing the integer value from a particular variable. So I am just storing an integer value right over here and I am going to read that integer value with the help of this percentage d from this printf function. So this type qualifiers are most widely useful for printing the data to the output window of the C programming window. C programming IDE. So now I am just going to save this, compile this and I am going to build this. You can see the output is as expected that is variable 1 value was 32,000. So in case of care we were only able to store a maximum number between 0 to 255 in case of unsigned version and in case of signed version we were able to store only numbers from minus 128 to positive 127. And in case if you require a larger number that is like this 32,000 or up to a range between minus 32,768 to 
பாசிட்டிவ் தேர்ட்டி தௌசண்ட் செவன் சிக்ஸ்டி செவன் யூ கேன் டிக்ளேர் யுவர் வேரியபிள் டிக்ளேர் அண்ட் டிஃபைன் யுவர் வேரியபிள் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் தி இன்ட் டேட்டா டைப் ரைட் ஓவர் ஹியர் லைக் திஸ் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ வாண்ட் அ லார்ஜர் நம்பர் நெக்லெக்டிங் தி நெகட்டிவ் பார்ட் யூ கேன் ஜஸ்ட் ப்ரொவைட் தி அன்சைன்ட் டைப் குவாலிஃபையர் பிஃபோர் தி இன்ட் ஸோ தட் திஸ் வேரியபிள் வில் பி ஹேவிங் தி மேக்சிமம் கெப்பாசிட்டி ஆஃப் ஸ்டோரிங் தி நம்பர் அப் டு சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் தட் இஸ் சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் தௌசண்ட் ஃபைவ் தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் நான் யூ கேன் சி தி மேக்சிமம் நம்பர் சிக்ஸ் ஃபைவ் ஃபைவ் த்ரீ ஃபைவ் ஹேஸ் பீன் ஸ்டோர்ட் அண்ட் பியாண்ட் திஸ் இட் வில் நாட் ஸ்டோர் இட் வில் ரோல் பேக் டு தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வேல்யூ தட் இஸ் லீஸ்ட் வேல்யூ ஜீரோ ஸோ பியாண்ட் திஸ் இஃப் யூ ப்ரொவைட் தி வேல்யூ தி வேல்யூ வில் பி ரோலிங் பேக் டு தி இனிஷியல் வேல்யூ தட் இஸ் ஜீரோ ஸோ தட் இஸ் த கேஸ் so if you use the unsigned int data type for declaring and defining your variable that variable will be capable of storing the values between 0 to 65535 and if you are using the signed int that is int of 1 like this this variable will be capable of storing values from minus 3 to 76 to positive 3 to 767 so based on your application requirement you must be able to decide whether your variable must be a char unsigned char int or unsigned int as per your need in your application so i hope in this video you learned what is int data type in c language and what is the range of int data type in c language what is the maximum capacity of int data type and how values are stored in memory if you are declaring and defining the variable based on this int data type both the signed version of int and unsigned version of int see you in the next video thanks for watching